this looks like a pretty easy graph, right? We got just one thing to worry about and different numbers. So hopefully this is an easy question. Uh, if I saw this on a hard module, I'd probably want to do it instead of skipping it. So let's take a look. We have to support their conclusion. Let's focus on the conclusion. Flint artifacts dating to 800,000 to a million years ago have been recovered from the Everin Quarry in Israel. Likely created by the hominin Homo erectus, the artifacts have no visual features suggesting that they were exposed to fire, leading some scholars to conclude that these hominins had not acquired control of fire. But Zane Stepka and colleagues recently used a new method to determine whether these artifacts had been exposed to temperatures above 400 degrees Celsius, the typical temperature campfires reach, and concluded that the hominins who inhabited the site may have had control of fire. Okay, well, above 400. Looks like some of them are above 400. So, I don't know, it's probably going to talk about those ones. So, artifacts K5106 uh, and K39 were exposed to temperatures above 400. No, K39, K5106, it's below the line. Next, artifacts L5239 and K318 were exposed to temperatures of approximately 550 and 650, respectively. So, L239, 550, sure. Uh, K3118, 650, looks good. So seems good. And because they're both above the line where fire would happen, that's kind of the ones we want to talk about. So let's let's keep that in. Let's look at uh, C. All of the artifacts were exposed to temperatures above 100 degrees. Well, that's true, right? Like, yeah, but who cares? The fire's at 400. So like, it's true, but just not part of the, the, the thing we're supposed to find. Uh, D, Artifact uh, K39 was exposed to a higher temperature than was K506. Well, again, I, without even looking at it, I don't, I don't care. I need the temperature to be above 400. So 39, 106, 39, 106. I mean, that's true, but neither of them is exposed to fire. So yeah, it's B. Um, this is why I would not have been scared of this particular question. Uh, you can try to kind of just tell looking at this chart that it's pretty simple, right? It's when we still start to have multiple rectangles, multiple lines, multiple, you know, like crazy things on the axes that I start to get nervous. Uh, if it's simple stuff like this and, and you can learn kind of to, to distinguish them the more you practice, uh, I'm not going to give up on a question like that. So even in a hard module, this would be one I'd go for uh, because I do feel like just looking at it, it's going to be easy. And, and I think it was. So uh, definitely not as hard as some of the other ones that we've seen.